Hi, my name is Janto Barker and I'm here with Bike Channel UK in the beautiful setting of the Bridge de Visconteo, which dates back to the 14th century. It's just south of Lake Garda and around here there are some beautiful roads and I'll be riding this Cipollini NK1K, which is a classic Cipollini monocoque frame shape. But first, let's see the technical specification. The bike's monocoque frame is made from top-end Torre T1000 carbon, as is the matching fork. Frame weight is on the heavier side, in line with the rest of the Cipollini range at 1,120 grams for an unpainted medium. The bike has extremely aero tube profiles with a down tube that flows neatly into the chainstays, an integrated fork crown and a seat tube cutaway. While the geometry is race orientated, Cipollini say they've tried to make the bike more accessible to more riders. They have tried to achieve this by using an aerodynamic headset cover plate to effectively offer two head tube heights, giving the NK1K a front end which is noticeably taller than on the notoriously aggressive RB1K, as well as having a slightly slacker head angle. Shifting is electrical or mechanical. There is a battery for the electrical version that is permanently mounted in the seat post. This bike comes with caliper or disc brakes. This one, as you can see, is the disc option. This means the NK1K will be Cipollini's first ever disc ready bike. This bike is Italian through and through. It is engineered in Verona, built in Florence, hand painted in Pisa and assembled in Padova. The cost of this frame set is £4,400 for normal colours. Grey or green camo options are 4,800 and Cipollini do offer a My Cipollini option which is 4,900 for a customised paint job. While this frame is not the cheapest on the market, you do get a sense of true Italian craftsmanship. Now it's time to ride, I'm going to take this bike and give it a good test on the undulating terrain. This is a fast bike, the Cipollini NK1K. So I'm here on the flatlands of Italy, where today is also very windy. You can really feel, as soon as you step on the pedals, the stiffness of the frame makes you faster. This bike is the first Cipollini with disc brakes from other models and also it's been given a raised head tube just to give you a little bit more comfort if you're not quite used to the aggressive riding position. The only thing I would say, this bike is not done justice by the wheels, which is a point I really wanted to make. If you're going to invest into a frame this good, you need to also consider your wheel option because your riding experience is going to be dramatically influenced by that. Having said that, this bike still delivers stiffness and performance with every pedal stroke. And that's the end of this test. The Cipollini NK1K has performed solidly all round. It's not the lightest bike, it is quite expensive, but you do get a true sense of Italian craftsmanship every time you ride it. It's designed in Verona, built in Florence, hand painted in Pisa, and assembled in Padova. You can't get more Italian than that. Make sure you join me next time here on Bike Channel for the next test.